We're underway now in the second eights. And through the first 250, nothing really between any of the boats at the moment through the first 250. We're going to see a lot more close contest through this event and certainly the final. But once again, lanes 8, 7 and 6, now lane 5, seem to be the, uh, the preferred lanes here today. And that's where the action's coming from at the moment as we look down the course. Just while we've got them just a little bit out of view, the Hale School Raffle. We've got 11 winners. Mara Rudd, Margot, Michelle, Edgar, Beck Morse, Phil Goodridge, Hayden De Courtney, Lisa, Felicity Lane, Chris and Craig. We've, all, we've got all of your phone numbers and you are the winners of our 11 gourmet raffles from Hale School, our hosts here today. So we look down the course and it is lane eight leading the way, Christchurch Grammar leading the way by about a half boat length at the moment. Then there is nothing between lanes seven, six and five, which is Hale School, Trinity and Guildford Grammar. But at the moment, Christchurch Grammar School, they lead the way by about a half boat length. They're already through the first 500, heading down to the second 500 now. And it's Christchurch Grammar lead the way by about a boat length as they get towards the 1,000. So Christchurch Grammar, they have a boat length lead at the moment. Trinity College and Hale School are the next two in lanes six and seven. But Christchurch Grammar, they are a boat length clear at the moment and going very nicely. Hale, about a bow ball in front of Trinity. Nothing between the two boats in second and third at the moment. But Christchurch Grammar, they have gone out to a boat and a half lead at the moment. All three Christchurch Grammar boats have drawn lane eight in events 10, 11 and 12. They were clear winners in event 10, which was the third eights. So Christchurch Grammar, they lead the way now. Going out to almost two boat lengths lead now. Hale School, about a canvas in front of Trinity at the moment. And then Guildford Grammar, about a half a boat length back in fourth place. Christchurch, though, they lead the way as they head towards 500 to go. The race is between second, third and fourth at the moment because Christchurch Grammar in the second eights, just like we saw in the third eights, they are just going further away from the other boats in the field at the moment. Christchurch Grammar lead as they come through, 500 to go now. You can see the bike path on the left of screen on our drone footage here. They'll come up to the first area where we've got our spectators and flags starting to fly. Christchurch Grammar, a comfortable boat, boat and a half lengths lead at the moment. Then back into second place is Hale. Then there's not much now between Trinity and Guilford Grammar as Guilford Grammar are starting to make a run on Trinity for third place. Scotch College a little bit further back and then Aquinas. Well, they're going with Trinity as well. A bit further out the outside. The noise will start as the Christchurch Grammar boat starts to get closer to the marquees. Christchurch, they are well clear. A boat length and a half, comfortably clear of Hale at the moment. Trinity is trying to stay with Hale. They're in third place at the moment. Christchurch Grammar show the way. Very comfortably indeed for Christchurch Grammar. The race for second and third is between Hale and Trinity as they come now through the 250. Christchurch Grammar, for everyone on the side of the shore, you can see for yourselves Christchurch Grammar are leading nicely at the moment.
Christchurch Grammar. They're going to come down and finish this one off nicely. Another win for Christchurch Grammar School. They took out the third eights. They're going to take out the second eights very comfortably indeed. Hale are up into second. Guilford Grammar are attacking Trinity for third. Christchurch Grammar, they get the win. Hale take out second. There is nothing between Guilford Grammar and Trinity, but Trinity will hang on. Guilford Grammar, then we have Aquinas back to Scotch College, and Wesley will round out the seven.